Phoenix Wright, everybody. I just made a bad mistake by backing out of the freaking sidewalk thing. And I think we're going to be able to crack Moe's lock. Ah, I'm going to skip through all this crap again. Okay. Leon! We've already talked all about this. Okay. So it was six months ago, and Acro was injured six months ago. So that's way too coincidental. See, look right there. Seriously injured both at legs while training six months ago. This has got to be it. Take that! It must have been Acro, right? Hell, how did you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the Ringmaster. No, no way! I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Akko. So Akko must be hi Oh yeah, he's obviously hiding something. Hey, we're back at full health. How about that? Alright, let's get the dish out of Mo. It's just like you said. You know, the accident. Did someone die? No, but it would have probably been better if he had. Oh, here's some new music. What? How would that even? How would that have been better? He's still alive, but when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Coma? All he does now is lay in his bed at the hospital, and that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. Brother? They were an acrobat team of brothers, Acro and Bat. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible team, cut down at the same time. So let's find out who his brother was. Um, uh, oh sorry. Um, who is Akro's younger brother? Sean Dingling, but everyone always called him Bat. He fell in love with Regina, trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago we were practicing, all of a sudden Bat blurts out, let me perform with Leon. Why'd he do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. Oh jeez. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was smiling. He hit you mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down he was smiling. Oh god. Jesus. Some sick grin. No way, that's impossible! A smirking lion, a flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all these incredible events? Nick, can, I, can lion smile? Um, we never told the police about the incident. The circus would have shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Ah, ah, ah! A joke! A joke! <laughs> nice! What a wonderful sneeze! Uh huh? You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana? That's basic clownsmanship. Girly, I know you've got it, you understand that. Nick, I think I make a clown! Other than Magina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer. <laughs> does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does. Bat would always tease it with pepper. From my point of view, those two always looked so perfect together. They look perfect together, huh? Alright. So I guess we'll head over to... I guess we'll, uh, let's go try to break, uh, Acros. This is gonna be tough, but I think we can do it. Oh, Mr. Ryan, back, back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Wait, oh. was that someone else? We're back because Akro's hiding while his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know. Well, well, it seems you've got things you want to talk about, so fire away. I've got plenty to talk about. Take that! Alright, three Cyclops. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. About the wheelchair. Here we go. I have to ask you, how are you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? 
Yes, unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real cause, I'd give no reason to keep it, to keep it secret. Akbar, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Um... It had to be Leon, because that's the one who caused the injury, I guess. So... Take that! Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. Oh, there's one! I know I'm on the right track. All right track. I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. I'm not sure if attack is the best word to be using. You must have battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. And that someone has to be bad. Because obviously you got killed by Leon, so... Take that! Bat. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Oh, man. This is pretty easy. Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo, but he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue? Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down at the same time. Cut down at the same time. That was where he slipped, and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up wrapped up in the same accident together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Acro Cyclock. He must have an incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Acro, I know you are still hiding something from me. Maybe something you don't seem to like much is the reason you're being evasive. What? Oh my god, um... Crap. So I guess it was found, since it was found in Regina's pocket, maybe Regina has something to be involved in this. That's what I'm thinking. None of these, I don't think we should really show it to him. So I guess we could try Regina, and then we'll try presenting the note with, along with Regina. But there's only one Cyclock left, so I'm not too sure. We'll try again, and we'll probably get our health back. So I'll try either Regina or the note, so let's try Regina first. Take that! Regina, you always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Yes! Saying things like she is cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. But he didn't try to attack you? Twice. <laughs> he wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to in insinuate that I believe she, sp she spurred on Leon to attack Bat, are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina is incapable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Oh, maybe I overdid it again. But if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. That's where it leads me to the note. Yeah, that's the only thing. It all leads down to the note. Maybe Acro is the murderer. I'm not sure, though. I mean, it, it, it is a bit early. I mean, we're not in court yet, but I'm thinking that maybe he might have done it. Because... But that's the thing. How did he... Because he's... Because Mo said that he was flying. We'll talk about this in the next segment, but... Anyways. Take that! This. Where'd you get it? Regina posted on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess I noticed it when I... I, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. I always take Aqua's breakfast in the morning. You wrote this and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. Oh, yeah, baby! We are awesome at this game. All right. Spill it out, Acro. My legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago, my younger brother, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. 
If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. That's insane! Didn't you know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid too, but that lion was very old to begin with, and age brought with a countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or, ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened? He just wanted to take her out to the movies. Poor Pat! When Leon jumped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up... What about Pat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again, and that's the reason why I keep going. Bat and Regina, they were such great friends. Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross, it's covered in blood! This scarf was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. What? When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know, most said the same thing. What do you think it all means? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Oh, God! Bon Karma? I've already heard everything, so hand over the scarf. But the scarf is evidence in the trial. That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I've served a summons on Acro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro, we'll, take, we'll talk more in the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? Come, Acro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Oh, man. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. Alright, so I guess that is it for the investigation, our second day of investigation. And I guess tomorrow is day three, which means it has to be the final day of court. So, uh, let's just have a little sneak peek of it. So let's talk about what I was just, uh, talking about. Good morning, Max! And that's all we get out of it. Alright. All right, uh, so, um, so Acro was right above, um, was right above him when he saw Max, so to speak, um, fly upwards, um, so, and the fact that um, he was in his room at the time, I mean, he just woke up and then he saw it. I kind of doubt that. I mean, wouldn't he be at the festival? Or at the party? Because, well, I guess this, since, I mean, he's in a wheelchair, I guess he can't go. Oh, yeah, he said he can't even leave his apartment. All right, I'm done talking about this. Um... Uh, so, I think it'll probably be this weekend when we come, uh, back together for Phoenix Wright. Well, I think we'll possibly, uh, be able to finish this case this weekend, unless it's a to-be-continued on Saturday. I'll probably do, maybe do another one on Sunday. Uh, but hopefully we can, we can, yeah, yeah, hopefully we can be able to beat it this weekend. So that's gonna do it for today's segment for Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All, my 40th Let's Play here on WTZM TV. And I will see you guys in the next uh, segment of this Let's Play, coming very soon, pro uh, probably on Saturday. And in the meantime, I will see you guys in my next video, coming soon. OBJECTION!